Mercury. The retrograde of Mercury is rather very tricky because the planet by itself is very tricky. Now, Mercury goes retrogrades almost about three times a year. So this time it is going retrograde uh, from 9th April to 3rd of May. Remember these dates from 9th April to 3rd of May, then from 12th August to 5th of September, then 3rd December to 22nd of December. Now, Mercury planet usually depicts confusions, delays and frustration. If you actually minutely look into it, when do confusions happen? The confusions happen when we rush into things, when we are impatient about things or confusions are often actually created through your communications. We may not be intending to say something, but we'll tend to say something which can irk the other person, thus causing delay and automatically frustration to our own selves. So now when Mercury is going retrograde and Mercury also rules, uh, again, like I've said it for the other um, uh, planets, that if, don't take Mercury, this is the generic view that I've given, don't take Mercury that this is applicable 100% to everybody. You have to realize and analyze which house is Mercury governing for you in your natal chart. Because Mercury can um, deal with communication, Mercury can deal with contracts, with travel, with automobiles. Mercury deals with uh, telef uh, telephones, with uh, electricity. Mercury deals with a lot of many things. So you need to know in your uh, natal chart, is Mercury affecting your communications? Or is it affecting the materialistic part of you, accumulation, materialistic accumulation? Or uh, is it aspecting the automobiles part of you? You must have noticed in your life that suddenly your, uh, there is a technical glitch. Suddenly your computers have gone off or suddenly your car has uh, conked off. Actually, if you relate to it, it will most likely to be happen when the Mercury is in retrograde. But we normally don't observe all these things. But at the same time, um, this is an, and now when Mercury is going retrograde, it is an excellent time to reflect on your past behavior and speech. It's an excellent time when your intuition is very, very high. And this intuition, which is very high during this period, coincidences seem to be extraordinary. Because you're working with your, and this happens only in retrogrades. So people generally are intuitive 100%. But during the retrogrades of Mercury, the extrasensory powers are much more powerful. They are much more powerful and intuitively you actually know where you have gone wrong. That's the, that's the catch. Not where others have gone wrong, but where you have gone wrong. Now, where once you realize that probably um, depending upon knowing again that which aspect of the house does uh, Mercury rule in your natal chart, you need to know my relationships are going wrong. Is it because of my communications or otherwise? And you will get your answer. My career is going wrong. Is it because of my communications with my colleagues or my bosses? You will be able to realize that. See, whenever retrogrades take place, you must understand that that is the only time in a person's life when you are reflecting on your own inner subconscious mind or psyche. You are not sitting judgment on what is happening around you. The retrogrades reflect your personal self. And Cosmos is giving us three times quarterly, you could say it, that uh, Cosmos is giving us the opportunity to view and review ourselves so that once the planet starts moving ahead, we can actually extend olive branches, build bridges and make sense out of the nonsense that's happening around us. It's just as simple.